Hello and welcome back to Tetra Football and today I'm going to be predicting the shock result in every single World Cup group. First up, obviously, is Group A, Qatar, Senegal, Ecuador and the Netherlands and my shock result for this group is going to be Ecuador beating Senegal 2-0. I think now without Mane, both teams are pretty balanced so Ecuador could easily pull off an upset. Group B then, the group obviously us, England are in, we've got Iran, Wales and America and because everyone's expecting England to win every single game, my shock result is going to be England drawing 1-0 to Iran on the opening match day. I feel like Iran are being a bit underrated by people but I think that they won't be that good overall but they will get a draw against England because they're a pretty solid set up team. Group C then, the group with Lionel Messi's Argentina, they are also in that group with Mexico, Poland and Saudi Arabia. There's not much of a shock you can predict in this group other than Saudi Arabia beating someone, I don't think that's going to happen. But I do think Mexico are lacking a striker, so I think they will draw 0-0 with Saudi Arabia and won't win a game at the tournament. Yeah, I don't think Mexico will win again. It will be beaten by Poland and Argentina and draw to Saudi Arabia. Next group then is group E, group D, sorry, it is Australia, Denmark, France and Tunisia. And my shock prediction for this group, because I think France is going to have a rubbish tournament out of Benzema and Kunku, so many other players are injured for them. I think that the Socceroos will get a scrappy 1-0 win over the French. Australia, 1-0 France, uh, probably won't happen, but I think it would be a massive shock result. Group E then, I, it is Costa Rica, Germany, Spain, and Japan. And I think Japan are gonna have a pretty good tournament, so I'm gonna straighten a bit. My shock prediction is a Japan 2-0 win over Spain. I don't think the Spanish have any real like goal threat. They can't put their chances away, but Japan, they do have a solid back line, so I think they'll be able to keep a clean sheet, and I think they look lethal on the counter-attack, so despite Spain keeping the ball, when they do get it off them, they will counter-attack and be able to score. The next group is Belgium, Canada, Croatia, and Morocco, and I think Canada, they don't have much of a chance, there's going to be a baptism of fire for them. However, I think Morocco are a silently underrated team for this tournament, and I think they will scrap out a 2-1 win over Croatia. I think, despite having Luka Modric, which should still be enough to see them through the group, I do think that most of their team is a bit old and not quite up to the same standards they were in 2018, so a 2-1 Morocco win. Now, the group of Brazil, Brazil, Cameroon, Switzerland and Serbia, and I've been simulating some World Cups on FIFA, and every single time, Serbia managed to get a draw against Brazil, so that's exactly what I'm going to go for. Brazil won't win every single game in their group, Serbia will take points off them, and they will draw 1-1. I think that Serbia, they are a pretty good team, and, you know, maybe they'll cause an upset for... I don't think one of their first World Cups, but the World Cup they're actually going into quite a bit of optimism. And then the final group of the World Cup, Group H, is Ghana, Portugal, South Korea and Uruguay. And my shout is Portugal don't go through. I'm not sure I said this in the predictions, but I've been thinking about it and I don't think Portugal go through anymore. I think Uruguay still top the group, but I think I really underrated Ghana's team. I think I put them third below Portugal and that team, if they play for each other, they play as a team and work really well with each other. They've got some like hidden quality in there, like the IU brothers, Inaki Williams up front for them now, Tarek Lamptey as well, and obviously Party in the midfield. I do think that Ghana team is heavily underrated and they can do something and I think they'll go through the group by beating Portugal 2-0. So there you have it, that is my World Cup shock result prediction in each of the eight groups and i think most of those they could realistically happen although they probably will not because the big teams don't tend to lose big games in the group however sometimes they do lose like germany 2018 so you never know however that is the end of the video so remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time